Good day guys, this is your sir, Sir A. I'd like to share with you my knowledge in solving engineering problems, particularly electrical engineering problems. So if you are struggling on this, want to know more about this, or even just want to watch this review tutorials, this is all for you. God bless. So, ngayon naman, tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang uh, ilang pang mga paraan para masolve ang isang circuit o isang network. At unahin natin ngayon ang superposition theorem. So, sino sa superposition theorem? Superposition theorem states that yung double tahe across at current through sa isang element ay pinagsama-sama o equal sa pinagsama-sama o yung tinatawag na algebraic sum ng uh, Voltage across and current through an element dahil nang ginawa nating isa lang ang nag-aak sa isang circuit. So, ang superposition ay ginagamit para ma-analyze natin ang isang linear circuit. At ang ginagawa natin ay we are treating it kapag nagkita tayo ng isa o higit pang mga sources, voltage source or current source. At kinakalculate natin to sa pamamagitan ng uh, separate analysis. So, May dalawang bagay na kailangan tandaan natin sa pag-solve ng superposition theorem. Dapat alam natin yung dalawang yun para makonsider natin all throughout the computation of the circuit. Ang una, kailangan alam natin na isa lang dapat ang gagana na independent current or voltage source. So we are taking one at a time. We, also, we are letting current source at voltage source one at a time. So, kung may apat kang current source or may dalawa kang voltage source, may isa kang current source, isa-isa sa bawat bawat uh, analysis mo. Tapos, sandaan natin that the current source should be open and then the voltage source should be shorted. Again, ang current source, pag, uh, pag tinanggal natin siya, open dapat siya. Tapos, ang voltage source, pag tinanggal natin sa circuit, shorted dapat siya. So, second, ano naman yung pangalwa? Ang pangalwa naman, para sa mga dependent sources. Pag sinabing dependent sources, nakadepend sila sa parameter ng iba ng circuit. So, yun naman, ang gagawin natin doon, hindi natin siya tatanggalin. Ilelet natin na nandun siya all throughout our computation. And then, under nun, kapag nakita tayo ng uh, dependent source, pero may mga independent sources, ilelet lang natin siya, tapos masosolve natin, uh, o i-apply pa din natin yung principle na one source acting alone. And then, ang uh, masosolve natin na value for the unknown will just be the algebraic sum ng uh, separate analysis mo nung uh, source na tinanggal mo o nilet mong gamitin sa isang circuit. Para mas maunawaan nyo ng gusto, mag-solve tayo dito ng circuit na nandito. So, apply natin sa circuit na to, we will be getting the IO, yung nakared dito, using superposition theorem. So, kung makapansin nyo, Sa circuit na to, ilan yung ating independent sources? We have one current source and one voltage source. Meron tayong dependent voltage source dito, pero tandaan nga natin, sabi ko kanina, hindi natin gagalawin o hindi natin tatanggalin ang dependent voltage source. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong dalawang the independent sources dito, current and voltage, dalawang beses tayo mag analyze ng circuit or dalawang beses tayo mag undergo ng redraw ng, ng uh, circuit o pag-drawing ng circuit. So, in this case, Analyze natin. So, alin ang una nating gagawin? Alin ang una nating papatayin? Or alin ang una nating i-act alone? So, in this case, gagawin natin tong voltage source. Gagawin natin shorted. So, again, ang current source ay open. Ang voltage source ay shorted. So, in this case, unahin ko muna na i-short si 20 volts. So, kung makapansin nyo, shorted na si 20 volts. In this case, apply natin yung mga circuit analysis na natutunan natin. So, in this case, pwede akong mag-mesh. I'll be naming this as AIA, IB, and IC. And then, apply natin dito ang mesh analysis. So, by inspection, unang-una, makikita natin, by inspection, that IA is equal to 4 amperes. Next is, uh, mag-mesh tayo dito, mesh at IC Let's take IC Mesh in IC That will be Negative Dadaanan ng IC 3 Plus 1 Plus 2 IC Current effect 3 IA Plus 3 IA Plus Current effect 1 IB Or just IB And then Mawala tayo dito That will be Plus 
5i o is equal to 0. Again, you will be entering to negative i o, then leaving to positive i o. Count in a clockwise direction. 3 plus 1 plus 2 is negative 6ic plus ib plus 5i o is equal to negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 ang kanyang constant. Again, negative 6ic IB plus 5IO, 3 times 4 is 12, lipat sa kabila, that's negative 12. This will be our equation 1. In this case, ilet natin na IO, since ang pinapakuha natin ay IO, pero it doesn't necessarily mean that this IO is, is the IO na kinukuha natin, sa, kukuha natin sa dulo. In this case, dahil nasa una tayong analysis, pinatay natin si 20 volts, lagyan natin to ng IO prime. Ibig sabihin, nasa first step tayo ng pag-act nung 4 ampere current source. Okay, next. What about mesh in IB? Mesh in IB, that will be, dadaayan ng IB, 5, 1, and 4, IB, then current effect, plus IC, then plus 5, IA, then minus 5, IO, is equal to 0. In this case, IO prime. Then, 5 plus 1 plus 4 is negative 10IB plus IC plus or minus 5IO. Then, is equal to 5 times 4 is 20. Lipat sa kabila, negative 20. That will be our equation 2. Kung makapansin nyo, IC, IB, IO prime ang ating unknown. In this case, IB, IC, and IO prime din ang ating unknown. We still have to get one more equation para masatisfy natin ang three equation, three unknown. So in this case, sa para tayo makukuha, makakuha, mag-KCL tayo dito. O, KCL at X, applying mesh and the IO. That will be leaving ang IA, so negative IA, IO prime is entering, so IO prime, then positive IB, entering ang IB, then equal to 0. That will be IB plus IO prime is equal to IA is 4, lipat sa kabila, that's positive 4. This will be our equation 3. In this case, nilagyan ko yung IO ng prime. So, sa unang analysis natin, dahil pinatay natin yung 20 volts, IO prime siya. Second, pag inopen naman natin to, I2, IO double prime na yon. Next, let's use our calculator. In this case, meron na tayong equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. So, using your calculator, applying mode 5 to function, you will have the value for IB, which is 16 over 17 amperes. IC, which is 80 over 17 amperes. And for the IO prime, that is 52 over 17 amperes. So, kailangan natin to mamaya. So, this time, kunin naman natin si IO double prime applying the 20 volts here. Tapos, i-open naman natin si 4 ampere source. So, ngayon naman, ang ililet natin na act alone ay yung 20 volts dito. Then, aalisin natin sa circuit yung 6 amperes current source dito. Kung makapansin nyo, wala na itong silbi. So, tatalo na yung korente dito. So, open na to. So, mawawala na to. Magiging ganito na lang yung circuit natin. So, in this case, ganito na lang. And then, we are asked to find for the value of IO double prime para makuha natin ang finally yung value ng IO. So, in this case, mag-mesh tayo dito. IA and IB. At by inspection, kitang-kita natin that IO double prime is equal to negative IB. So in this case, let us solve. Let us take mesh at IA. That will be dadaan ng IA, 3 plus 1 plus 2 IA. Then, pasok kay 5IO double prime plus the current effect, that is IB is equal to 0. Negative 6IA plus IB plus 5IO double prime is equal to 0. So this will be our equation. Next, mesh at IB. That will be, dadaan ng IB. That will be negative 5 plus 1 plus 4 IB. Plus the current effect IA minus 5IO double prime. Then plus 
20 is equal to 0. Arrange lang natin. That will be IA minus 10IB minus 5IO double prime is equal to negative 20. So in this case, we have two equations here. The equation, this one and this one. So apply lang natin ang IO double prime is equal to negative IB. So from this equation, that will be negative 6. So from this equation, negative 6IA plus IB plus 5 IO double prime is negative IB. That's negative IB is equal to, sorry, negative IB is equal to 0. So negative 6IA plus IB plus 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5 IB is equal to 0. Negative 6 IA minus 4 IB, that's 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. This will be our equation 1. Next, for this equation, it will be IA minus 10 IB, then minus 5, what is IO double prime? That's negative IB is equal to negative 20. So in this case, that will be IA minus 10 plus 5 that will be or negative 10 plus 5 that will be negative 5 ib is equal to negative 20 so in this case we have first equation and the second equation na input natin sa calculator so upon using your calculator using mode 5 one function, you can have the value for IA which is equal to negative 40 over 17 amperes and for the IB that is 60 over 17 amperes. Again, IO double prime is equal to negative IB. Therefore, IO is equal to negative 60 over 17 amperes. So this one, IO double prime is 60 over 17 amperes. So, sabi ko nga kanina, makukuha mo finally yung value ng pinapahanap. In that case, we want to get the IO. At ang IO daw ay algebra exam nung function na ginawa natin kanina per uh, current source or voltage source analysis. Per source acting alone analysis. So, that will be algebra exam. That will be IO prime. Sorry. That's IO prime plus IO double prime. So nakuha natin kanina that our IO prime is 52 over 17 plus your IO double prime is negative 60 over 17. Kapag nyo senior calculator, makukuha natin si IO na negative 8 over 17 ampere. So ito ang sagot sa, sa circuit na ating solve kanina using superposition. Again, superposition, isa-isang sources ang ating i-analyze sa per per calculation natin ng pinapahanap. And also, tandaan natin that the dependent voltage source uh, should uh, left on the circuit alone kapag uh, ginagawa natin ng superposition. Only the independent voltage source ang ililet natin na open and short. Again, current source is open, voltage source is short-circuited. So, this time, source transformation naman ang ituturo ko sa inyo. So, sino naman si source transformation? Ito ay uh, pagpapasimple lamang ng isang circuit, tandaan natin. At ma-apply natin dito uh, na mas madali pag in <coughs> Again. So ngayon naman ay source transformation theory or method or analysis. Sa source trans transformation na analysis, analysis, process to na nag-replace tayo ng uh, uh, current source parallel with the resistor at voltage source series with the resistor or vice versa. Kung makapansin nyo, the voltage source here is series to the R and the current source here is parallel to the R. Para makuha natin, vice versa yung process. Para makuha natin yung CV, tandaan natin ang that will be just uh, Ohm's law. That will be I is equal to V over R. So para makuha natin si R, again, the R should be parallel with the I and the B will just be series with the R. So again, tandaan natin na kung anong application niya sa pag may independent current and voltage source, ganun din kapag dependent. Same lang yung analysis natin. And take note, kung nasaan ang polarity na positive terminal, ganun dapat yung arrowhead. Again, kung nasaan yung polarity ng positive terminal, nandun dapat yung arrowhead. So mag-solve tayo ng circuit applying source transformation method. So this time, mag-solve tayo ng circuit. Makikita nyo, nandito. Kukuhanin natin si VO, the value of the drop across the 8 ohm resistor using source transformation. Again, may nakikita tayo dito na resistor nakasiris sa 12. So, gawin natin itong current source. And then, this one, may nakikita tayong 
resistor na nakaparal sa current source, gawin nating voltage source. So, in this case, this will become like this. So, meron tayong voltage source. Yung arrowhead ay nasa baba. So, that will be positive yung nasa baba for resistor. Then, I is the current. So, I times R is V. That is 4 times 3. That will become 12 volts. And the 4 ohm resistor, si series na ngayon sa 12 volts. Tapos, that will be, this will be the 2 ohms. Then, leave lang natin si 8 ohms dito. Tapos, nandito si plus minus VO. So, ano na mangyayari dito? That will become a current source. That will be... So, 12 over 4, that's voltage over resistor, ohms law. That will be... 12 over 3 is 4. So, ang arrowhead nasa taas. That will be 4 amperes. And then, the resistor ay naka-parallel dito. So, that will be 3 ohm resistor. In this case, series to. So, pwede natin gawing... Ganito na lang. 4 plus 2 is 6 ohms. Then, this will be the 12 volts. Then, sorry, mali yung polarity. Minus, plus. So, careful tayo doon. Then, 8 ohms. Plus, minus, VO. Then, this will become... We will be getting this or uh, copying this na lang muna. So, this will be 4 amperes. Then, this will be 3 ohms. In this case, nakita tayo ng resistor na naka-series sa voltage. So, gawin natin itong current source. So, this time, ang circuit natin, ganito na lang. So, mapapansin natin, may resistor na naka-series sa voltage source. So, gawin natin itong current source. So, mangyayari dyan, 12 over 6, that's voltage over resistance. That will become, so, ito na ngayon. Sorry, mali yung polarity ko dito. Minus plus. So, ang arrowhead natin ay pababa. So, 12 min over 6 is 2 amperes. Then, the resistor should be placed parallel with the current source. That will be 6 ohms. And then, this will be the 8 ohms plus minus VO. And then, this will be the current source, 4 amperes. And finally, this will be the resistor 3 ohms. Take note, hindi natin iniibo kanina pa yung 8 ohms. Bakit? Kasi nandun yung hinahanap. So, careful tayo. Isa yun sa tip na dapat hindi natin iibuin yung 8 ohms dahil nandun yung unknown parameter na hahanapin natin. In this case, pwede natin iparallel ang 6 and 3. So, parallel of 6 and 3, isa na lang tong resistor. Tapos, this one, parallel din ng current source, pwede natin pag-add in algebraically. Take the sum. But in this case, magkaiba sila ng direction. So, magtitake siya as subtraction or minus. So, that will become 4 minus 2. At ang dominant natin ay yung arrowhead na pataas. So, that will become arrowhead na pataas. Then, 2 amperes. And then, take the resistor parallel 6 and 3. So, upon your circular calculator, that's 6 inverse plus 3 inverse, inverse, it will give us 2 ohms. And then, for this one, we have 8 ohms. And then, plus minus VO. In this case, nakita tayo ng current source and voltage and resistor. Ito ay ang finally, magiging ganito na lang. So, meron tayong voltage source, arrow up. So, arrowhead Pataas, so 2 times 2, that will become 4 volts. And then, resistor should be placed in series, 2 ohms. And then, ito yung ating unknown. This will be the 8 ohms and plus minus VO. So, from our first circuit kanina, ganito na lang yung final circuit natin. Makukuha natin si VO. So, paano makuha si VO? Pinakasimple, apply natin si VDP or si voltage divider principle. So, in getting the VO, that is V total or the V supply times, if this is VO, that should be the resistor drop of the unknown. That will be 8 ohms and the summation of two resistors, 8 plus 2. So, v, our VT is 4 volts. Then, take the answer for this one. So, upon using your calculator, so upon using your calculator, VO, it will give us an answer of 3.2 volts. So, this is the answer of the circuit na ginawa natin kanina using source transformation method. 
So this time, tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang last two network analysis na gusto kong i-share. Ngayon, yun ay ang Thevenins and the Nortons. Magkaiba siyang analysis or magkaibang network theory, pero parehas yung principle nila. It, they have the same principle. So ngayon, isa-isahin natin yung kanyang dapat mga tatandaan sa pag-resolve ng Thevenins and Nortons. Okay, medyo mahaba yung, yung uh, method na to kasi we have lot of... Uh, of factors and things na kailangan i-consider natin. So, sa Thevenins at Nortons, ang pagkakaparehas nila, yung principle na kailangan makuha natin yung tinatawag na Thevenins Equivalent Resistance and the Norton Equivalent Resistance. For the Thevenins, para sa Thevenins, magkakaroon siya daw ng... Uh, Makukuha daw natin dito ang tinatawag na Thevenins Voltage or the Open Circuit Voltage, yung tinatawag na VTH, or again, that is the open circuit voltage and also the RTH which is also called as yung uh, Thevenin's equivalent resistance na tinatawag. At ang kanyang TEC will be like this. There will be a VOC here. There will be RTH here. So ito yung kanyang pinaka TEC or the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Pagating naman ng Norton, meron tayong tinatawag na ISC or the short circuit current na minsan tinatawag din siyang IN or the Norton's current and also we have the RN or the Norton equivalent uh, resistance. So in this case meron naman tayong NEC na meron tayong short circuit current then parallel with the RN and then the terminals. So, tatandaan natin meron tayong dalawang cases sa Thevenin sa Norton's uh, analysis or theorem. Okay, the first case, kapag nakita nyo na ang circuit ay may independent voltage and current source at wala kayo nakitang dependent, ang ginagawa doon, tiniturn off natin lahat ng independent sources para makuha natin si RTH or the value of the Thevenin's equivalent circuit or the Norton equivalent resistance, not circuit, resistance. So in this case, atandaan nyo, pag merong variable resistor or the load resistor or variable load resistor, i-coconnect nyo lang siya dito. So, that will be kung, nan, kung nasa ng pinapahanap. So, that will be the RL, let's say. So, again, pag may RL or the variable resistor at the load, you will be connecting it to your equivalent circuit. Then, yung case 2 naman na tinatawag, so, yun yung case 1. Yung case 2 naman na tinatawag ay yung pag meron naman dependent sources. Pag nakita naman kayo ng circuit na merong dependent na source, current, or voltage, ang ginagawa naman natin ay tinuturn off natin ang mga independent as if na ginagawa natin sa superposition theory. So, iniisa-isa natin. Ah, hindi natin iniisa-isa dito unlike sa superposition na isa-isa acting alone. Dito, papatay natin lahat ng so independent sources. Ang ititira natin ay dependent and then we'll go along to the problem or the, the solution. At take note, Doon sa terminal, na pwede tayong maglagay, two open terminal, usually sa problem yun ay A, B, or the terminals A and B, we will be applying, tandaan nyo tong principle na to, mag apply tayo ng 1 volt or 1 ampere source. And then, we'll go along to the process of solution or the analysis of the circuit. So, magbibigay ako ng example regarding the Thevenins and the Norton to further elaborate. So in this case, kuhanin natin ang value ng I flowing on the variable resistor or variable, variable load resistor. So in this case, may condition kapag ang RL daw natin ay 6 ohms or 16 ohms. Applying the Thevenin's theorem. Thevenin's muna tayo. So in this case, sabi dito, may nakikita tayong independent voltage and current source. Iti turn off daw natin yan. So ang mangyayari dyan, pag tinurn off natin, mag-short na to. Pag nag-short to, magiging wire na lang siya. And then, mag-open naman to. So, ito, mag-open to na ganito. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 4, parallel na sa 12. And then, this time, makukuha daw natin itong RTH. Dito daw, nandito daw yung tinatawag na RTH. So, in this case, makukuha natin si RTH. So, RTH will be equal to 4, parallel to 12. Then, this parallel connection will now be series to 1. So, that will be 4 inverse plus 12 inverse, inverse plus 1. So, the answer for this is 4 ohms. And then, kuhaya naman natin si Thevenin's equivalent 
voltage or the open circuit voltage in order for us that to get the Thevenin's equivalent circuit tapos saka pa natin ilalagay si variable load resistor. So this time, binalik natin si 32 volts and si 2 ampere independent sources. And this time, kukuha natin si open circuit voltage. So take note, mag-mesh tayo dito. So that will be IA and then this will be IB. So open circuit na to. So hindi natin to isasama sa ating analysis. But this time, kailangan makuha natin si VOC. So let's take it. So for the inspection, so by inspection, IB is equal to negative 2 ampere. So, let's take mesh at IA. That will be 32 minus din na ni IA, 4 plus 12, which is 16. IA plus 12, IB, current effect, is equal to 0. That is negative 16 IA plus 12 IB is equal to negative 32. But this time, our IB is negative 2, so it will be negative 16 IA plus 12 times negative 2 is equal to negative 32, so that will be negative 16 IA is equal to negative 32 12 times negative 2 is negative 24 lipat sa kabila plus 24 so that will be negative 16 IA is equal to negative 8 or oh yeah, negative 8, so IA is equal to 1 half Ampere. So, makuha natin si IA and si IB. But take note, ang kukuha natin dito ay si VOC. So, take note na magka-KVL tayo dito. Isa sa tinatandaan sa Thevenin's is KVL at the outer loop na tinatawag. Sino si outer loop of the circuit? Outer loop is will be the involving yung uh, current so, uh, voltage source dito, the current na nag-flow uh, sa 4 ohms, and then the VOC. So, hindi natin isasama si na inner parameters ng circuit. So, this time, KVL, that will be 32 minus 4 IA minus VOC is equal to 0. So, VOC is equal to 32 minus 4 IA. Our, third, our IA is 1 half. So, that will be uh -huh, 32 minus 4 over 2 is 2. So, our VOC finally is 30 volts. So, ito yung VOC natin. And then, makukuha natin si Thevenin's equivalent circuit or si TEC. So, this time, ang ating Thevenin's equivalent circuit will be this one. And ibabalik natin si variable load resistor na may condition na 6 ohms or 16 ohms to finally get the current flowing in, on it. So, makukuha natin if RL is 6 ohms, that will be I is equal to VOC over RTH plus RL. So, our VOC is 30 over RTH is 4. Plus, our load resistor is 6. So, that will be 30 over 10 or 3 amperes. So, this will be our first I. If the resistor load or load resistor is 16 ohms, that will be I is equal to VOC over RTH plus RL. So, that will be 30 over 4 plus 16. So, that will be 30 over 20 or just 2 third ampere. So this will be the answer for the I if the resistor load is 6 and 16 applying Thevenin's theorem. So this time, solve naman natin ang para sa Norton. So apply natin ang, ang Norton at kukunin natin ang Norton equivalent circuit. So, sa pagkuha ng Norton equivalent circuit, take note, kapag case 1, kulad nito, na may, in may independent current and voltage source, inaalis natin to sa pagsasolve at makukuha natin si RN or sa Norton resistance. At the same time, ibabalik natin to finally get naman si short circuit current or yung tinatawag na Norton current. So, again, patay na alisin natin yung mga sources. So, mag-open si current source and then mag-short si voltage source. So, in this time, ano mangyayari? Makukuha natin si Rn. Na, kung makapansin nyo, natira na lang natin ay 4, uh, 4 ohms resistor, 8, 8, and 5. So, this time, tanggalin natin to kasi open na to. And then, 8, 4, and 8 are in series connection. So, that is typically 8 plus 4 plus 8 is 20. And then, we can finally get the Rn. And that is series connection, 8 plus 8 plus 4 is 20, parallel to 5. So, Kapag nyo sinyo yung calculator, that's 20 inverse 
plus 5 inverse, inverse. So, your Rn will be 4 ohms. So, kung makapansin nyo, ibanilik natin yung uh, independent sources. We have the 2 ampere current source here and the 12 volts voltage source here. Ibinalik natin sa kanina na tinanggal natin to find the Rn. This time, binalik natin to finally get naman the northern current or the short circuit current. So, apply natin dito ang mesh para makuha natin si In. So, Ia... IBN loop IC. So by inspection, so by inspection rule. So first inspection, IA is equal to 2 amperes and then IC is equal to IN. So kung anong value ni IC, loop IC, sa yung value ng hinahanap natin na Norton current. So paano natin makukuha? Magmesh tayo sa loop IB. So, dadaanan na current resistor ni IB, 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4. That will be 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 5 is 25. So, 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 5, IB, current effect, plus 4 IA, plus 5 IC, then plus 12, is equal to 0. So, that is negative 25 IB plus, sorry, this is IA, 4 IA, plus 5 IC plus or equals to negative 12. But again, negative 25 IB, 4 or IA is 2, plus 5 IC is equal to negative 12. So our equation will be negative 25 IB plus 5 IC. Then, lipat sa kabila is negative 20, came from negative 12 minus 8. So negative 20, this will be our equation 1. Next, what about mesh in or at loop IC? So, mesh at loop IC, that's typically simply 5 IC, negative 5 IC, resistor na dadaanin na IC, plus current effect na IB is equal to 0. So, this will be our equation 2. Negative 5 IC, 5 IB, 0. Then, negative 25 IB, 5 IC, and negative 20. This will be our two equations. So, upon using your calculator, using mode 5.1 function, that will be, you can get the IB, which is equal to 1 ampere, and we can also get the IC, which is equal to 1 ampere. Take note, IN is equal to IC, therefore, IN is 1 ampere also. So, finally, katulad ng kanina sa Thevenin's, kinuha natin ang Thevenin equivalent circuit. This time, kukuha natin ang Norton equivalent circuit. Unlike kanina, na may low load resistor. This time, it's only the NEC ang hinahanap sa atin. So, nakuha natin si ISC na equal sa 1 ampere at nakuha natin si RN or si at uh, Norton resistance na equal sa 4 ohm. So, this time, ito yung sagot. This will be the Norton equivalent circuit from the circuit na binigay sa atin sa example. Para sa itong terminal na to, we can connect also load resistor if and only if given siya sa problem. Or there will be condition na kukuha natin, ikakabit natin sa ating Norton equivalent circuit or certain parameter na, meron, na kung saan dun may hinahanap. So, yun naman ang Norton theorem.